What's up? This is Apex, and you're watching The Hustle Behind the Brand with L. Jones. So, Apex, where are you from? I'm from Kanasi, Brooklyn, New York. Okay. Um, what was your first experience like with a camera? Um, it was actually, like, difficult. It's like, I just went to the store and like just brought a camera and then I just opened it. I'm like, yo, like, what is this? Like, what is all these buttons? <laughs> How old were like, you? Um, I think I was 15. Okay. Yeah. And what did you take pictures of first? Um, like, lifestyle stuff or like sneakers. Like, cause I used to resell sneakers. So I used to do like the little tricks, like holding a sneaker in the air, all this stuff like that. <laughs> what type of social media were you using at 15? My um, Tumblr. Ooh. Tumblr, yeah, it created that vibe. Okay, and then fast forward to now, what was that? How did that happen? Um, I just like started practicing like every day after school. Like I'll just always bring my camera with me and just like shoot in Soho or like practice on like my friends and stuff. Like something new every time. But I just had to YouTube it like every time. Really? <laughs> yeah, like if I wanted to do something new. So YouTube like your best Yeah. Okay, and then. How'd you get into, like, celebrity photography? Because your roster is crazy. <laughs> Thank Megan you. Megan Thee Stallion. Um, who else? CJ, recently. Rowdy. Just coming home. So, like, get Pop Smoke, of course. Legendary. <laughs> of course. So, how'd you get there? Um, I think I was just, like, in, like, certain crowds. Like, and so, like, you know, it was, like, fashion week, so they would always have, like, those exclusive parties you would be in. Mm -hmm. So, like, I would just always find my way because, like, you got to be 21 to get in. So, <laughs> um, I just always find my way, like, if it's, like, Travis Scott or, like, like certain concerts here and there. But most of the celebrities, like, that I bumped into the first time was, like, in Soho just, like, walking around. And I just always had my camera. Really? So, wait, how'd you be pop? Um, Pop, actually, like, he DM'd me. He's like, yo, I fuck with your work. Like, pull up to the studio, so I just pulled up. Really? Yeah. Um, okay, so let's talk about that. So how important do you think networking is for, like, entrepreneurs watching this? Like, what would be some networking tips? Because that was just fake. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, networking tips? I was, like, a bit, like, antisocial. So I say, like, just make sure like you meet like the right people like in the right crowd like whenever like somebody see you like do good or like you have like great work like just make sure like you get their info follow them but mostly like people just tell me like pull up like a later time like they'll see the pictures from another time and just so hit me yeah speaking of you being anti-social we talked a little bit about off camera you not showing your face yeah. so what is why not? Um, honestly, it's like I just like being low key, but it's like I like to see how people like talk to you or like react to you when they don't know who you are, like off Instagram or off, like social media. Period. So, can you tell us of an experience where someone didn't know who you were? Um, I was at. Um, Megan Thee Stallion party, like she had it in like some hotel, and like we, like everybody got to wait outside, so. He was just like moving as if like he was like somebody like, and I was just like nobody, you know, big ass book bag, but <laughs> but um, he like completely like ignored me like when we was online and shit, but when we got inside and like people like would say yo that's Apex or so, like he was like he heard my name or whatever, like he had a whole different approach like and then like he reapproached me and said my fool blah blah blah, but inside. <laughs> how do you how do you handle that? I mean, I just ignore it because it's like people really not going to like realize you like when you down or like when you just like regular, like everybody respect you based off like your social media status. Mm -hmm. So it's like they don't see me one day. <laughs> right. And your, I mean, your picture was plastered in Times Square. Congratulations Thank you. on that. Um, we talked about how you met Pop. What did his career, I would say, and being a part of that whole process, what impact did that have on you? Because I feel like you did 
um, if anything, it fueled your hustle and you're still probably like respectfully the most prevalent Thank you. right now in the city. So um I say like being at me and Pop, we was like the same age. So like we would be in like the same crowd. We were like we were kids basically. So like we do the same thing like we would do in a regular but the difference is like he actually gave me like creative control like with anything that I wanted to do that like involved like his image in him. So like we would always collab on like certain ideas or like he'll give me an idea and like we'll just put it to life and like that's just how it go. <laughs> do you have um, any opinions on like the Brooklyn creative scene right now? Do you think it's going in a good direction? Um yeah, actually. Like everybody's pictures, like is like to a T. Like nobody's shooting on the iPhone. <laughs> nobody's like, it's not like you know, like half-ass like yeah. ideas out now. Like everybody's like making sure like they top whatever they put out. Is there any photographers from the city you want to shout? Yeah, it's it's a lot of them. They're gonna be mad, but um, first is Andy, already successful. Okay. Um, next one is Ramel, Ramel underscore. Um, the third one is Bamon. Yes, Bamon has been going crazy. Facts, Bamon yes. been walling. Yes. <laughs> How do you feel about your impact, I guess, that you're having on the city with people trying to replicate or be inspired by your style of shooting? Um, and I know you see it. <laughs> it's like, it's a compliment. It's like, it, it's... I just take it in a good way because like you're paying attention to me. Like, so. Do you care about getting credit? Nah, because like at the same time they always gonna know who it comes from. Like everybody knows like the person that started it. In your career, do you ever care about getting credit? Like, do you care to be noted as? I feel like I never really cared because it's like I made sure my style stand out enough so I don't have to put my logo on every photo. Mm -hmm. But like when I think Complex posted my picture, like everybody just went crazy and like tagged me underneath until like I got tagged and like that was big. Cause like, you know, Instagram at the time, like it wasn't like, it just started. So mm -hmm. that was like really big to have like a fire vlog repost you and tag you. Yeah. So, yeah. I wanted to ask you, I know that your schedule is picking up crazy. And I did want to ask, does that stump your creativity at all? You are like super demanding their content um a little bit yeah but it's like every day i just make sure i keep pushing like my creative side so it's like all right they're rushing cool they don't want to like mm -hmm. trust like the process even though it's still gonna come out fire it's like all right make sure they take care of get out the way would you um hire would you open an apex school like Apex school? Like, like literally. <laughs> Not everybody could be Apex. <laughs> so, that's OD, but yes, no, like a, a training, like, yeah, like class. Yes. Yeah, I would. And would you have them, like, would you hire them to be, like, your street team? When, whenever I get, like, the chance to, like, trust another photographer, like, to be underneath my team, because, like, for every client, I make sure everybody gets 100% effort, 100% like creativity. Right. So it's like, if I feel like you're not putting in that work, like as if I'm right there next to you, mm -hmm. I can't have you be underneath Apex because it's like, that's going to mess up the name. Right. Um, <laughs> and what's the end goal? End goal, um, still be a photographer or but be like a director, mm -hmm. like for actual like films. More like you see how like how um, music videos are getting up there to like actual film levels. Right. Like those is fire. Okay. So you're interested in shooting? Is there an artist in particular that you want to create a movie for? Um. Actually, not really. When the time comes, like you know, when the vibe is right. Right. Like I don't like really like just say, oh, I want to shoot with this artist, just go with them. So it's like whenever I get to that stage. Mm -hmm. We gotta talk about Jack Gaines. Eh? We gotta talk about that. <laughs> All right, but he said your name in a song perfectly. That song is crazy. <laughs> that song fire. is fire from start um, to finish. Yes. Um, what was that like? An artist saying your name, like plugging the brand in. 
Um, it was, was in the video. <laughs> like, yeah, I was in the video. Um, it was it was fire, like, cause Jet Gang Day, like, that's my bro. So it's not like oh, an artist like sent me in a song, like, like that's my bro. Like he would always try and like put my name in a song whenever I'm like with him. But I didn't know like he would eventually do it. But that shit was fire. <laughs> But I feel like it opened up more, like it gave like a bigger respect for photographers and like creatives in general, like mm -hmm. mentioning you in a song. That's something that, um, any artist on your hit list to shoot next? Mm, nah. Nah? It's like, I really don't like shoot with like celebrities, like just to shoot with them. Like, what it's like, mean? basically like at the vibe, like if I fuck with you, like, I would shoot with you. It's like, it's not like, oh, I need to shoot with this exact artist. Cause like, I don't know. I feel like I need like a creative, like spark for a certain artist. Like I wouldn't shoot with artists just cause like that's their name. Mm, okay. What do you say in a culture that people do stuff like that on a lot? With paparazzi? <laughs> yeah. Like we'll, we'll think that that, that the name means more than the quality sometimes. Because there's a lot of people that like, you know, shoot yeah. for free because they feel like that's gonna accelerate them. All right, we're like shooting for free, like other like creatives shoot for free in order to open another door mm -hmm. for them. But those who just shoot with like somebody just cause there's somebody is just, you won't see like their creative like artwork in their work in general. So it's like, it'll just look regular. Right. So you just make yourself like kind of stagnant.